Hello, it's Tom Donald from the London Contemporary School of Piano. Well, today I'm going to show you quite a difficult virtuosic technique for the left hand. I'm going to show you how to play stride bass, stride bass tips for beginners. Stride bass, this wonderful virtuosic jazz piano technique. Let's have a look at it and let's make a start with this style of playing. Okay, I'm going to just start with four simple chords and chords that just work beautifully with the stride bass style. And we're going to start with the left hand because this is all about the left hand. In fact, sit on your right hand. Just give your right hand a rest. This is time for your left hand to shine. C minor. B flat major. A flat major. G major. C minor. B flat major. A flat major. G major. Just stay with me on this. Just get him in the left hand. A little bit of a warm up. I'm using fingers four, two, and one. The reason why I'm not using my fifth finger is I'm going to need that for my striding. And actually, there's other fingerings you can use. You could use fingers, uh, if you've got slightly larger hands, you could use fingers three, two, and one. That's fine as well. But just make sure your hands are nice and open and that your wrist is relaxed. This is just a quick preparation exercise to get a stride in. Okay, it's time to stride. So take your foot off the pedal. We can't be using any pedal for safety here. We have to start striding. We have to start moving, teaching our left hand how to dance. So I'm going to play this low C here, and then I'm going to jump up to the C minor. You see how I did that? Played the low C, and I got off the note. I didn't waste any time staying there. I didn't get stuck on the note. I leave, and I go straight to the C minor and octave above. This is the essential technique of stride piano. And it's that movement too of the wrist. Notice how I'm getting to that C minor chord before I play it. I'm turning up early. I know that doesn't sound very jazz, right? You know, I'm turning up early. I'm um, putting all jokes aside about jazz musicians. This is all about turning up early. Because you want to get to that chord first before you play it. That's going to give you speed later on. Okay, so let's put the four chords with this that we were just playing. C minor, B flat major, A flat major, G major. And essentially I want that nice short and accented sound of leaving the chord and the bass tone. Because if I sort of stick there for too long, it also makes the sound a bit dull. The sound needs to have that excitement, that bounce to it, and then you can push the tempo, it's not about getting it squeaky clean, if you slip a little bit, just try and keep it going, it's all about continuity in this music, it's all about playing it absolutely perfectly, and sure, if you have any room in your, in your brain left to add some right hand, you could start improvising on the C minor blue scale. If you're managing to get that relatively okay, I'm going to show you a little step up from that. So I'm, I'm jumping an octave here, but I can actually also play these chords in first inversion. By playing them in first inversion, it just has a little bit more richness to it, and it takes away that those parallel octaves in the left hand. It's not that the parallel octaves are a massive problem, but it just will sound a bit more interesting playing these chords in first inversion. So now I'm jumping a, a further distance now, but I'm still applying the same principle. I get there first. The distance I'm jumping is a tenth interval. And just it's got a slightly richer sound to it. So if you're completely new to stride piano, you might just want to play these as root chords first. This is a good second step for stride piano.
By the way, if you are tempted to add some right hand stuff, keep it really simple. You know, just start with two notes. This is about the left hand, it's not about the right hand. And yeah, the right hand's just a little bit of icing on the cake, but the cake is the left hand. Okay, and the third way of playing it, what we're going to do now, is we're going to add some seventh dissonances to some of these left hand chords now, and it really spices things up. I hope that gives you some really enjoyable things to practice on. And if you like our content at the London Contemporary School of Piano, there's two things you should do. You should firstly click the bell button and subscribe to our channel. But the second thing you can also do is we have a wonderful stride bass cheat sheet. And if you're interested in getting your hands on that and studying some of these techniques, all you have to do is head over to our website, contemporaryschoolofpiano.com, drop us an email, ask us about the cheat sheet, and we'll gladly uh, send it to you with our compliments. And uh, be practicing. <laughs>